Hello, I'm Peter Taylor. I'm going to show you a pen and wash technique. It's using cheap pound shop fibre tip pens and a bristle brush and water all on A4 cartridge paper. Now this can be a really useful exercise if you're more confident at drawing than you are at painting because it eases the transition from hard materials to liquid and fluidity, which some people can find a little bit intimidating. Now you can see I've already drawn a very faint guide, an outline in pencil. Again, this is about confidence. If you're more confident, you can go straight into pen. Don't be tempted to colour in very solidly, OK? And neatness may not even be necessary either. So I'm going to look at the dark areas first and I shall pop in some of the sort of loose marks as well, just to try and get a flavour of that um, rather chaotic, dynamic style of Maggie Hamblings, quite loose. So I'm beginning to combine colours, but sticking with the colours from the darker end of the palette. OK, you can see that I'm beginning now to bring in some of the, the middle tones, the lighter areas, perhaps bringing in some of these oddments of colours, the brighter colours as well, and combining still, but always leaving quite a lot of white paper, which is cartridge paper, quite absorbent, in between my marks. Play with the marks. You can see too that I'm, I'm beginning to mess around with perhaps some rather streaky marks or some broken lines. All right, so I've built up quite a lot of colour and overlapped quite a lot of colour. Um, I'm le I've left plenty of the paper white. There's still room for more. But what I'm going to do now is introduce a stiff brush. And I'm going to dip it in clean water and just slowly start testing and seeing what happens if I dab on a bit of water here and there. Now, you've got to allow for happy accidents or unhappy ones. Perhaps don't even label them, they're just accidents. <laughs> and we see now that things happen that are unpredictable. Blendings occur, perhaps we can even add in more marks with this lighter tone perhaps than we've had before. You can also really, really build up those darker areas and create perhaps the contrast between the light and white areas around her hair. OK, so this has given me a chance to start seeing where I need to add more darks. So I have done that where the paper is dry, but it's very, very important not to use the pen on top of very wet paper because it will just um, destroy the pen. So I'm going to let the paper dry before I add some more details and tell you a bit more about the portrait. OK, so the portrait has now dried almost uh, bone dry and of course miraculously has appeared the title just for reference. Dorothy Hodgkin by the way was a, um, a Nobel Prize winning scientist and the artist Maggie Hamling I think has tried to bring out that sense of her bringing order from chaos uh, on her work with insulin with all these dynamic brush strokes so they're, they're really quite a great pairing um, a woman painting a woman both of whom are very committed and very involved and absolutely obsessed with their work I'd say. Okay last of all I'm going to add in the things perhaps that seem like they might be tempting to put in first like these very linear moments around the glasses. They're very dark so if I put water on after adding them that would have blurred horribly. So we're putting those on last really and also just any other areas that I think, oh, actually, I could perhaps put in a bit more darkness or a bit more definition here and there. Certainly around the hands, I could do with more work. And I love the way Maggie Hamblin actually uh, painted four hands, the fourth one's outside, um, as if she's very, very busy. This is a theme with Maggie Hamblin. She likes to put in multiple hands, almost as if she's describing the, the, the movement and, and that very, again, very dynamic mind and activity. I'm also going to do something which I found while I was away and the paint was drying, which I've never done before, but I thought might be fun. 
take a real risk and just spray some water from a holiday spray that I found in the bathroom. There we are. See if that does anything. Oh yeah, that's that's going completely crazy there, blurring stuff. Okay, so that is an image of Dorothy Hodgkin interpreted in very cheap felt-tip pens.